Hello and how are you? My name is Mahindu Mbarak and I welcome you to our final uh, session or the final lecture or the last lecture on mastering uh, Flutter user interface. It has been a quick a long journey but uh, I believe if we've been following and practicing I believe uh, you've learned a lot of things. As you know we always do 40 minutes so I'll start our timer. Uh, today we are going to see uh, in the previous lecture, I was able to do the, uh, the clones for WhatsApp and clone for Messenger and clone for BlackBerry. In our today's video, we are going to see how we can design this about screen. So we are going to see how we can design this about the application screen. I am also going to teach you how you can design this simple about us this, uh, of the screen. I am also going to teach you how you can design the team about us. I am also going to teach you how you can design a company about us okay so this one you put them when you're writing the about in your application all right so without wasting much time let's go ahead and uh, start uh, designing these user interfaces uh, so uh, let's begin let's begin um, we begin by as you can see I've already started our application okay this is what we did in the last lecture so uh, I've already started our application, so I'm going to begin by creating a section for the about screens. So I'll come here to, I'll come to what? To screens, and then create another screen that we're going to call directory. I'm going to call this one about. All right, so uh, we're going to begin by designing uh, the about application screen, okay? So to do that, we we'll just simply come here and then uh, come here and say, we create another file here about app screen. So I'll come here and say, uh-huh, and then say about app screen dot that. Okay, so here I'll go ahead and say stateful and put about app and then i'll go ahead and import and then i can remove this key for me i don't need it All right so after doing that we're going to put this about up in our what in our main chat or in the main in the main uh, uh route so i'll come to our main route or to our main menu i'll come here and duplicate this one and then i come here and i put here about about ah, there, well, there we go then I'm going to get here and, and put here about about up screen All right so after doing that um we're going to go ahead and uh, open this about here and then when i open it here you should be able to see the about which is the black color all right so let's begin now we are going to design this about okay this is what we're going to design right now so i'll go there because i already have it Okay, so I'm going to begin by returning a scaffold. Okay, so I'll come here instead of returning this placeholder, I'm going to return by what? A scaffold. Okay, we import the scaffold and then if we save, everything should be white. Okay, the next thing we're going to give the background color a gray of 10. So I'll come here and give the background color a gray of 10. Like that. Okay, so after doing that, uh, the next thing we're going to go ahead and now start put the app bar. Okay, 
So let's go ahead and design the up bar. So I'll come here and put up bar. It's going to be an up bar. And then in this up bar, you're going to give the background color of color colors dot amber colors dot amber do you know amber color it is like yellow but it's not yellow <laughs> so the background color of the amber i've made it amber color as you can see it there and then we're giving it for 600 as its parameter then after i went to go ahead and set the system uh, overlay style so go ahead and pass here the system overlay style and import this one and then make the the icons to be light so when i save the icons should be light like these ones okay then after doing that the next thing we're going to do we're going to give you the title which is going to be about okay so I'll come here to here and then give here a title that's going to be about okay so after putting that the next thing we're going to do we're going to give now uh the icon okay so the icon you can it's already there dark you can leave it if you want so the icon there so when someone clicks there the application should pop right so the next thing we're going to do we're going to now give the actions here and then pass the what the the menu okay so there you go So we have our action here. We can have this menu of settings. Okay. So that's it. That's nice and that's beautiful. All right. So after doing that, now the next thing that we're going to do now is not put the body that's going to have this content. So I'm going to put here body and then pass single child scroll view and then after in this single child scroll view we're going to give it a column a child of a column then after we're going to give this column a height of 10 so it's going to have children and then a height of 10 all right so after doing that uh we're going to go ahead and uh, give the card okay the card and then this is the first card that we're going to design here that we're going to put here so let's go ahead and put the card give it a child so before you give it a child you can first give it a shape like we we'll always do and then make this card to have a background color of white and elevation of two and then the layer of so go ahead and give this to the card before even uh, putting the other child okay so you can pause the video and look at this parameter that i'm passing here okay then after the child of this card is going to be a white container that's going to have a child and this child is going to be it's going to be a container that has a good child and then it's going to, let's first give it alignment and padding so I can first give it alignment and padding and then the child of this container is going to be what is going to be a column because there are things that are going to be in column so the child of this online container is going to be a column that is going to take children okay so the children that is going to take it's going to take uh, a row so this is going to be a row it's going to have our logo and then the name of the application so it's going to be a row okay and then give it children and then the first one is going to be a what our container that's going to have the logo and the name of our application so this is going to be our first child here okay so i can pause the video and see so it's going to be a container and then the logo so i import this image okay so if i save I'll have that beautiful thing there i hope you can see it okay so after putting that on the row next to that row i'm now going to put the what the container 15 okay next up i'm going to put the container 15 
and then i'm going to put a column because we're going to have the, the the name of the item i mean the name of the of the of the of the app and then the description so i'll go ahead and put the column and this column is going to have children okay so the first child i mean before even put your children let's first put alignment to be sent and start Okay, so the first child is going to be uh, the style and then the about us. Like this, okay? So it's going to be our first children, okay? So I'll copy this and then come and paste it here. I hope you can see that. Okay, so you can see how I've formatted my text. You can also format them in your own way. Then when I save, I'll have that beautiful thing there. Okay, then after, we are going to add now, we're going to add the spacer. So it can always be pushed behind. Right, so this space is option i can leave it by the way all right so we're going to put now uh this uh, version the app version so i'll come here to the column i mean I'll, I'll come here to after this row so i'll collapse this row collapse the row put a comma and then put uh, a height of 20 and then after i'm going to put the row now i'm going to put the row okay so i'll go ahead and put the row and then after uh, this row, I'm going to put now the icon of info, okay? The icon of info, this icon, okay? Okay, and then after putting the icon of info next to that row, I'm going to put a column and then I put the information itself, okay? Put a, put a spacer. And then go ahead and put a column and this column is just going to have the version and then uh, the version value okay so I'll go here and put the app version and its respective value so you can pause the video and see how I've done that can you see it's not so complicated just text one on top of the other you see the version and then the other one is on top of it so when I save I'll have that one there isn't it it is nice okay i'll have that one there all right so after doing that uh, i'll go ahead and do the same so this row you can as well even design it as a component and keep on calling it so that row i'm going to do what to do the same thing and put uh the same rows below it so another one's going to be the, the 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 changing history and then another one is going to be the license okay so do the same thing so i can just simply copy this and this and then add them there since they are almost same thing exactly so i'll come and add that one there so when i save i should have uh, only that i have put here the size i should have uh, that one so you should be able to achieve that okay you should be able to achieve that okay then after we're going to make the next card here so this card is exactly the same thing, but the only difference it is having the word author here. Okay, so I'm going to show you how it is done. And then I'll just copy and paste it there. So it is a card, like the way you have the one on top. And uh, it is having a container and then the column, like the way you just have on top. And the only difference here, it has a row and on top it does not have any icon, just have the word uh, author. Or the person who created the application okay so we put the about the author's name and also maybe uh, the link of that author so i can just simply copy that card and add it there because it is just like the one that you put in on top likewise to this one it is like the one like this one but on the, this different different information so go ahead and challenge yourself and design those two cards okay they are just simple and straightforward because it's repetition of what i've done on top but to make something beautiful, you have to really do them. 
so let me collapse this let me collapse this entire card let me collapse this entire card and then and then paste it there here and then you'll have those things there all right that's it so that's our first about us screen so here comes a challenge so i so you see i've just done this beautiful thing like this one here now i need to challenge you i need you to do this simple as it sounds a simple about us screen and i also need you so you can pause the video and take that as a challenge since it is a, a final pro, uh, we are in a final video so i'm giving you some of these ones as a challenge to see if you have really learned so pause the video and design that user interface if you finish it you can send it to me to make sure that uh, i check and comment so design that user interface we have the name of application and then the version of application and then the the date and then the description i don't think this one will be hard we can even discuss it to it just be a status bar i mean the app bar which has the action of this button and then you have here what you have here um, a text a title of your text that is big in size and it is having a font weight that is smaller and this is an a column which has been expanded here and then expanded in bottom and then you have this type of uh, the text which is having the version and it is in color gray and it's having the dark color here and then the last update this is color gray and then it has a dark color here and then description and then these terms of service so i believe you can challenge yourself and do this you might not be having an idea but i'm giving you the idea of what you should do so this is task number one for today's video do this task number two do this exactly what i've just explained in the previous video but with a blue background color so go ahead and do this you can call us about us blue okay so this is the second challenge that i'm giving you the third challenge that i'm giving you do this okay this is a little bit hard but it's not hard this is just our team which has three rows and each row it is a column that has a picture on top this picture i've already shared them and the dark later the dark text with the la gray text and time was how many times three i mean time was two okay two rows two rows three times three times was two okay rows times two and then the columns times three then after we have it our team and then you have here the mission then give this text that looks like this one and then put here the address and then get this image of a google map put it there and then put the remaining address there down it should be a single chart scroll view and also work on the what on the upper back color so that is a challenge that i'm giving you so that is a challenge number two to see that in this course did you really learn something then after doing that i'm also challenging you to do this okay that is uh, traditionally i'm challenging you to do this one also it is just like this the other one that you just done but this one has a background color with the content i mean it has a background image with a content on top of it well, i've already i've already taught you something like this so i want to challenge yourself you can use stack or you can use any other thing but i want to challenge yourself and do this okay so please that's another challenge number three and no challenge number two and challenge number three now this is challenge number four do this it is just like the other one that i told you to do at first however this one has a, a red color so if you finish these ones and uh, you do them exactly as how you wanted including the chatting systems then you can say okay i'm now a flutter user interface designer okay so i'll not do them for you because i don't want to feed you everything but i've taught you at least every concept that can help you achieve this so that makes it our course uh, and uh, i don't want you to just stop from there please do what i've told you to do uh, for your good and also uh, for the good of the my energy that i've invested in you guys 
to teach you these things for free. So also show that you appreciate and do those challenges. If you finish them, you can as well contact me and I look at your works. All right, that's it for today. Uh, we meet in another series of videos where I'm going to teach you now how you can connect this mobile application with the web application to start making real what? Real world projects. Goodbye.